The iconic James Webb Space Telescope has been making epic headlines since its launch in 2021. This cutting-edge technology has been an instrumental tool in astronomy, providing new insights into the fascinating origins of the universe, the formation of galaxies, and the search for life past our solar system. However, the most recent discovery revealed something terrifying that can alter our entire perception of reality as we know it. Get ready to be blown away because the James Webb Telescope has just captured a chilling new image of the very edge of the universe. What has NASA's newest telescope discovered? And how does it change astronomy as we know it? Stay tuned and let's find out in this video. Traveling to faraway planets has always been a fantasy for humans. Thanks to the powerful James Webb Space Telescope, we're one step closer to this crazy dream. Although over 3,000 exoplanets have been discovered, most of them have only been detected through a dip in light caused by their movement in front of their host star. Webb, however, changed the game by capturing the first direct image of an exoplanet in September 2021. This noteworthy occasion marked a giant leap forward in astronomy. The exoplanet, named HIP 65426b, was discovered in 2017, and getting a good look at it required using two of Webb's cameras, several filters, and the telescope's coronagraphs. These tools allowed us to block out the central star's light and get a clear view of the planet's features. And let us tell you, it did not disappoint. This colossal gas giant turned out about 12 times the size of Jupiter and 100 times further away from its star than our Earth is from the Sun. It was genuinely an extraordinary find. The universe is endlessly captivating and enigmatic, filled with secrets and marvels exceeding our wildest imaginations. From the vast expanse of the cosmos to the tiniest subatomic particles, every corner of the universe holds mysteries waiting to be uncovered. It's where time and space bend and warp, where black holes devour everything in their path, and where the very fabric of reality is constantly being rewritten. The universe continues to astonish us and is a never-ending source of wonder. Despite all our advances in science and technology, there is still so much we don't know about what lies beyond the unmapped. But the inception of the James Webb Telescope changed that. It has helped unravel some of the most baffling riddles and answered some of the most puzzling questions that have long troubled scientists. One such perplexing question is what is at the edge of the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope first took the world by storm in July 2022, when NASA released the telescope's first new images of stars, galaxies and an exoplanet. Webb's image provides fresh insights into how galactic interactions may have driven galaxy evolution in the early universe. The first image the James Webb Telescope released displayed a group of galaxy clusters called SMAX 0723. These galaxy clusters act as a magnifying glass, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when the gravity of a giant object, such as a galaxy cluster, bends the light from objects behind it, making them appear bigger and brighter than they actually are. The gravitational lensing effect created by SMAX 0723 allowed the James Webb Telescope to capture its first deep field view, including ancient and faint galaxies that have never been seen. This was a significant achievement for the telescope as it demonstrated its ability to catch images of distant and faint objects once beyond the reach of other telescopes. The image of SMAX 0723 was taken by the James Webb Telescope's near-infrared camera, which shot images at different wavelengths of light over 12.5 hours. This allowed the telescope to snap a detailed and comprehensive view of the galaxy cluster as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. The first release from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope comprised images of celestial objects such as the Carina Nebula, the Southern Ring Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, and WASP-96b, an exoplanet located 1,150 light-years away from Earth. The spectrum seized by Webb of WASP-96b is the most detailed spectrum of an exoplanet to date. It has different wavelengths of light that offer unique information about the planet and its atmosphere. The spectrum shows evidence of water, clouds and haze in the planet's atmosphere, demonstrating Webb's ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light-years away. 
The Southern Ring Nebula is a huge planetary nebula located 2,000 light years away from Earth that contains an expanding cloud of gas around a dying star. Webb helped expose previously hidden details about the nebula, containing the shell of gas and dust released by the dying star, and how the stars shape the gas and dust cloud. The Southern Ring Nebula was previously considered a simple dying star that had expelled its outer layers. The recently released image from the Webb telescope has revealed that a third star may be involved in the nebula's formation. The mid-infrared instrument showed that the white dwarf wasn't invisible but glowing red, surrounded by a haze of cool gas, leading scientists to believe another star exists. There are intriguing shells around the out edges of the nebula, which a third star could have caused. All the gas and dust seen must have come from that one star. Still, according to Joel Kastner, an astronomer at the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York and one of the study's co-authors, the companion stars tossed it in specific directions. Stefan's Quintet is a compact galaxy group located 290 million light-years away in the constellation Pegasus. Four of the five galaxies in the group are locked in a cosmic dance of repeated close encounters. Finally, the Carina Nebula is a stellar nursery located 7,600 light-years away from Earth, where stars are born. Webb's image discloses formerly invisible areas of star birth within the nebula. The James Webb Space Telescope, the newest addition to our stargazing arsenal, detected an exoplanet unlike any other. This celestial oddball turned out to be a brown dwarf, more extensive than a planet, but not quite big enough to be a star. The observations made by this great telescope have revealed some enticing facts about this celestial body. The brown dwarf, known as VHS 1256b, emits a dim reddish glow due to the modified form of fusion that occurs on massive objects, but is too tiny for hydrogen fusion. Even more peculiar, Webb discovered silicate clouds surrounding this little guy, which had never been seen before in a brown dwarf. The intrigue doesn't stop there. The exoplanet is relatively young and small for its kind, meaning there is much to learn from it. Webb even identified various atmospheric chemicals, including water, methane, carbon dioxide and potassium. The study of this discovery has suggested that there is turbulent vertical mixing in the exoplanet's atmosphere, which means that carbon dioxide from deep down is being dredged up to mix with the methane high up in the atmosphere. What a strange and wondrous world we live in. Have you ever heard of the Phantom Galaxy? It may be elusive in the night sky, but its brilliance dazzles when captured in infrared with the James Webb Space Telescope. By combining images from the Hubble and Webb telescopes, researchers have created a mesmerizing composite image that showcases the galaxy's spiral structure and fiber-like structures of heat-emitting dust and gas emanating from its radiant center. This enchanting image is part of a larger international project called FANGS, which uses Webb, Hubble, and several ground-based telescopes to capture 19 nearby star-forming galaxies in the infrared. By utilizing Webb's capability to see through dust and gas, astronomers hope to understand the puzzles of star formation and interstellar space. With the ability to accurately measure the masses and ages of star clusters, pinpoint star-forming regions and explore the nature of dust in space, the addition of crystal-clear Webb observations promises to revolutionize our understanding of these bewitching galaxies. In February this year, the Webb Telescope made a surprising galactic discovery in the distant universe. It somewhat answers the mind-boggling question which has bothered humans for centuries. What is at the edge of the universe? Astronomers use the James Webb Space Telescope to observe six enormous galaxies that existed between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies were unexpected because they were as mature as our own, and it was priorly thought that only tiny baby galaxies existed then. The galaxies appeared as sizable points of light, and the team was stunned to see them. The amount of mass discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to 100 times greater than thought before. These objects are way more massive than anyone expected, said Joel Leisure, assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University. We expected only to find tiny, young baby galaxies at this point in time. 
but we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own in what was previously understood to be the dawn of the universe. Researchers used the Webb telescope to observe the universe in infrared light, which is invisible to the human eye and is capable of detecting faint light from ancient stars and galaxies. By peering into the distant universe, the observatory can see back in time up to about 13.5 billion years ago. Gigantic galaxies detected by the Webb telescope conflict with current theories of early galaxy formation, leading scientists to rethink their understanding of how galaxies evolved. The researchers led by Leger were startled to see these galaxies appear as large points of light in the telescope's first high-resolution images. They were so astounded that they initially thought they had mistakenly interpreted the data. However, after analyzing the data further, they found that the galaxies were real and much more ample than they had anticipated. To determine why these galaxies grew so quickly, the team plans to take a spectrum image of the galaxies. This involves splitting light into different wavelengths to define various elements and determine the actual distance of the galaxies. The spectroscopy data would provide a more detailed look at the galaxies and their sheer size. Leia emphasized the importance of keeping an open mind about what they see, as it is their first glimpse back this far into the universe. While the data indicates that the objects are likely galaxies, there is a possibility that some of them could turn out to be obscured supermassive black holes. On March 14, 2023, Stephanie Milam, the Deputy Project Scientist for Planetary Science at the James Webb Space Telescope, spoke at the South by Southwest Conference and Festivals in Austin, Texas. Milam was thrilled about the telescope's fantastic work and the science community's hard work analyzing and publishing their findings in peer-reviewed publications. She announced that much more exciting stuff would emerge from the telescope. There is still much more to come from James Webb, including studying the formation of planets and the nature of dark matter. It will help astronomers learn more about dark matter by studying how galaxies change over time and how dark matter behaves around them. The telescope has already conducted transit spectroscopy on exoplanets, allowing astronomers to study their atmosphere's composition by analyzing the light that passes through them. There are more than 5,000 exoplanets that have been discovered to date, ranging in size from massive gas giants to small rocky worlds. Imagine a world where it rains liquid methane and ethane, and the rocks are made of frozen water ice. This place isn't a figment of your imagination, it's Saturn's moon Titan and something from a science fiction novel. But it's real, and recently, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope captured atmospheric data from the strange moon, revealing the presence of not one but two clouds. The researchers studying Titan with Webb were ecstatic. Sebastian Rodriguez, an astronomer at the Université Paris-Cité, exclaimed, At first glance, it is simply extraordinary. I think we're seeing a cloud. But this discovery is even more impressive because the team later found another cloud over Titan's largest sea, Kraken Mare. Could this represent a new gas in Titan's atmosphere? The team hopes further data will help them map Titan's haze and unlock the secrets of this unusual moon. It's incredible how other worlds are so drastically different from ours. It was a momentous occasion when NASA's Webb Telescope was launched on Christmas Day in 2021. After countless hours of effort by NASA's experts, the launch and deployment went flawlessly. The telescope has since clicked breathtaking images, allowing us to observe the universe in greater detail. With its infrared capabilities, we can now see the most distant galaxies in the universe giving us a glimpse into the past that was never before possible. There is no doubt that this technological marvel is transforming our understanding of the cosmos. In fact, within days of its activation in June 2022, the Webb Telescope detected thousands of distant galaxies, some of which are more than 150 million years older than any prior records. The data it's gathering is helping us to untangle previously unknown mysteries of space, from revealing the composition of planets to understanding how celestial bodies move through the vastness of space. Recently, Webb turned its gaze toward two colliding galaxies called IC 1623, and it witnessed something truly amazing. Despite the galaxies being about 270 million light years away from us, Webb's advanced infrared technology allowed it to peer through the thick dust 
and reveal a spectacle hidden from our reliable Hubble telescope. What did it see? An area of intense star formation, with stars being produced at a rate 20 times faster than in our own galaxy. The resulting image is so incredibly exquisite that it's like gazing upon a painting created by Mother Nature herself. But wait, there's more. The new image also revealed a previously unexplored layer hidden behind the dust, causing intense infrared radiation that produced Webb's typical pointed star diffraction pattern. This groundbreaking discovery has been documented in a recently published study in the Astrophysical Journal, which has sparked a flurry of excitement in the scientific community. The merging of the two galaxies may also create something invisible to the naked eye, a supermassive black hole. This spectacular and rare event is causing cosmic chaos that cannot be replicated anywhere else, and it's only thanks to Webb that we can capture this exceptional moment in history. With its ability to capture excellent images and provide crucial data that may hold the key to finding extraterrestrial life, the Webb telescope is undoubtedly a game-changer for space exploration. The future is bright with this remarkable innovation, and seeing what other discoveries will be unveiled as we continue to explore the universe will be thrilling. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.